before we start, I got to highlight a young brother who's doing this thing named Trey. He got a company called Country Bumpkin. I like that, Country Bumpkin. And what reason he said he came with the name Country Bumpkin is he wanted to let people know that just because you from the country, you can't be flying flashy. And let me tell you, the boy laced me with some pair. Woo, a nice pair of shoes. I'm going to tell you what, y'all ready for this right here? Damn! Look at it right here, boy. Look at that right there. Okay, look at that. Look at the detail. The detail on the shoe right here. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I'm like, it's fly. In fact, he got a couple of them. He's over in Atlantic Station. If you're in the Atlanta area, go to Atlantic Station. The brother said, man, he had a, you know, a little hard journey to get his stuff off, man. He's got a wife. He's got a little kid. He's a brand new child. And he said he um, was hustling, trying to get his things out, you know, different stores. He was turning their back to him. Finally, he met a guy who runs the Atlantic Station leasing apartment. He believed in him. Gave him a little boutique. The boy brought his gear. And when I say he got some fly gear, not just shoes. He got all kind of pants, shirts, all kind of jerseys. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to support the brother. A lot of celebrities came through there. Antonio Brown came through there. Yancey came through He said people come through there all the time. And I came through there. And he laced me with these right here. This, woo. Now, he comes in different colors. He got them with all red like this, with the blue is. He got them with different multiple colors, man. But really nice, man. The shoe actually feels real good. I got some J's. And the, some ones, and let me tell you, these feel damn near better than the ones. I don't know what he did with them, but they do feel better than the ones. You're going to see me flying with the food. In fact, I'm going to have these on the show in another couple episodes, man. But I like them. But support the brothers. So if you're ever in the Atlanta area, go to the Atlantic Station. He got his little spot, man. Check it out. It's called Country Bumpkin. My man Trey. Holla him. Tell me, you, you heard about uh, this place. Um, here on comedy, you know, I mean, I, I'm here on Pierre's Panic Room and Comedy Hype. It's all the same. You know what I'm saying? Love y'all, man. Support the brother, all right? Always support black. Remember that. It is, boy. Come on, come on, come on, y'all. All right, y'all. Welcome to another episode of PS Panic Room again. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching, y'all. Thank you, thank you, man. If you're watching, you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Come on, do me a favor. Blink. That's right. Hit that right there for me. Oh, y'all, look. I'm on the streets. Y'all loving PS Panic Room, all right? And also comedy hype news when I do it, y'all. I love the love, man. I appreciate it. That's why I bring all the fly and flashy guests on here. And today is no different, y'all. Y'all know who's going to be on here, but before I start, I got to do these comments. You know, I got to read three comments that my crew gets. So this is from the T.P. Hearn show. Remember T.P. Hearns? He's, I mean, we're talking about he's been in a coma. A guy named John Meekins said, ain't seen this dude in a minute. He was mad funny. Hope all is well with him. Well, all is well with T.P. Hearn, man. He was really great, man. His episode came out a couple weeks ago. Y'all, really, really good. Um, I'm happy to see him well. Like, he's, he was disgusted about being put in a coma and coming out and, you know, getting back to the comedy world. And, you know, we're happy to see him, man. That energy is back. All right, this is from the Carlos Miller Show. Uh, Jesse Fagan said, Pierre said, they wilding outside. I'm done. <laughs> when they were talking about wilding out, they were doing the show wilding out, and they was getting everybody. And Carlos said everybody was getting fired. I said, well, damn, y'all probably was wilding outside, and you know, just started wilding out, wilding outside. So shout out to uh, my man Jesse. All right, from the Brother Man episode, Guardian Jordan B says this man loves being genuine. Oh, this man loves being genuine. Oh, let me read it again. <laughs> this man loves Bernie genuinely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jen Winley, whatever the hell, you know what I'm saying. He couldn't stop gushing. Beautiful. Rest in peace, uh, Mac. Uh, yeah, everyone loves Bernie Mac. And um, I think I'm about to go back to my uh, English class and, and work on this. <laughs> I don't be getting these in time. Y'all don't get a chance to read all these. Y'all forget y'all. All right, y'all. Here you go. Y'all know the super producer extraordinaire, Mr. No, I ain't going to do all his credits, man. I got time. We got a short show. All right, man. Shit. We got no two days for him. We got everything we want. We got my man finally in. Man, one of the most successful uh, music producers. Give it up for the one and only Mr. Jazzy Faye! <laughs> hey, hey, oh boy, in the building, okay? Yeah, oh, right. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh yeah. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> right, is that Jazzy what Jazzy Fenzel Burgundy, Obama <laughs> Luther King, Jr. Jackson, Friday the first. Yeah, oh, oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. You, you a couple people. Biggest name in the business, you know what I'm saying? You, you, ain't, never, you ain't never lied about you that. Damn. Yeah, man. First of all, were well, you the first one that started trumping the, the art, actual artist on shit by yelling out your damn signature? No. You know, actually, where I got it from. Who did that for uh, you? Teddy Riley. T what did he say? Teddy Riley. On what song? Yep, yep. Yay. 
And he always yell out the artist, Deja or whoever it would, it would be. Yeah, but he ain't say Teddy Riley. Nah, but he, but he had a tag, though. Oh, okay, tag, okay. But you knew it was him. Okay, right, right, right. You know, plus, he was an artist. Right. So, you know, it's like Teddy, yep, hey, Ted, hey, Ted, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, you got a point there. You got a, you got it's kind of like, yeah. But now every producer say, it's a so-and-so production. It's a so-and-so production. Exactly. They got one to hit a rapper. Damn, right. who's producing it? What you going to say? It's the engineer. It's the engineer. Right. The person who got the coffee. Got the person who got the coffee. It's Mike yeah. who got the coffee. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Well, I got in there just in time. I know that's right. I, know. I got in there just in time. But it works time. with you, though. It works yeah, with but you, you know what? It, it, I, I think um, what, what, what uh, uh, is great about it is that even the little kids, they be like, like you can ask them, like 10 different kids mm -hmm. and they'll have nine different questions i mean answers okay you know what i'm saying uh -huh. and they'll be like oh you 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 like dj Khaled. you stand in front of artists and you 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 block the shine you da 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 right. then some of them be like you like p diddy you take all the publishing and they're like what <laughs> like oh, oh that's me and then some of them think you like you're quincy jones you call the shots and da da da, da. Right. or you're like right. you know they they have all these different imaginations but one thing about it is they know Ladies and gentlemen, Jazzy right. Fizzle, they say, well, what do I say? And they, and they say, ah, oh, I know, I know. Right. You know what I'm saying? And all of them know it. Yes. Nice, It's nice. a brand. You know right. what I mean? It's right. branded. Right. You know what I mean? You, you, so knew, you knew that for the future? You knew to do that for the future? Like saying, this is going to be a brand? I'm going to Well, actually, it came from me doing records and my records like really ringing bells in the hood and okay. just in the South, heavy. Okay. And then guys that were bigger than me, like already in the game, were saying that they did the music. No. But I didn't know why they were doing that. They were doing it to get to work. That's dirty. They weren't trying to really make people. They were trying to make people believe they did it because they wanted to get the work that went with that. And I didn't understand that. And but when I understood it, when somebody was like, "Yo, such and such got a whole project and made hundred fifty thousand dollars because they said that they did this," I said, "That's my record." I said, exactly. But like damn. so, when you first heard. Girls in the club right. show enough. Can I cuss? Right. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, hoes in the club. I ain't make no money, though, but yeah. anyway. Hoes in the club show <laughs> Showing enough. Showing up, right, right. Taking that. Eh. Right, right. I never said my name on that record. Right. Because I wasn't tagging my record then. And I, and I had to learn I'm a big because. Too. Yeah, and it was huge in Texas. Right, right. Well, yeah, a, 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 a ball. At first, just, it started right. in Texas because okay. Suave House, right. Rap a Lot, they were like both the two big labels in, 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 uh, in Texas. And then, of course, you know, DJ Screw and his crew. Mm -hmm. But but um, down in Texas, my record was so big in Texas, I had to move to Texas. Not, wow, trying to get that work. It was like, that wow. big. And people were running around saying, you know, I produced that record, I produced that record. I'm like, oh. So I got to figure out how to, you know, I got to stand in front of that. Then I thought, Teddy Riley, he always tagged his records. Smart. So, you know, uh, I was watching James Brown late, late night one night. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, it's star time. Right. I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah. He said, "Ladies and gentlemen, right. there are eight wonders. Wait, there are seven right. wonders of the world, right. and you're about to witness the eighth. Right, right. I was like, "Oh, that's the right, I need right. that. I need that. I know. I need there that you type go. of. And then I, I think one time I was like, "Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness one of the most delightful of our time, Jazzy Fizzle. Right, right. And and it, and, it, and and it garnered people like Diddy." Like uh, Manny Fresh, like all of these people start coming at me, like you know, right. like yo, I love that. How you, you know, because they were producers too, you know. What I'm saying? Sure, so, you know, sure, sure, sure. Like sure. you know, but Diddy was kind of, kind of uh, uh, doing it, like right behind uh, Puff. I'm be behind um, Teddy. Teddy. Behind Teddy. Yeah, oh, okay. I think he might have been the second one. Really. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe I remember, but I, you stood out. You stood. But now he didn't I say his everybody. name though. Right now, he, I was right, the first one. Right. Like. My whole night, ladies and gentlemen. Right. It's a Jazzy Fizzle production. Right, right. No, no, no. It, 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 it was smart. It was smart. I yeah. mean, it's just smart. But I hear all producers now do it almost, you know. Yeah. Hip -hop. I'm like, damn. They got the know. little tag, you know. Yeah, in, in, in the beginning. But yeah. it's cool. But let's go back in the band. Since we're talking about the beginning, let's go back. Let's go back to your family structure. Okay. Now, mother, father, brother, mm -hmm. sister, what, what was it looking like? What was, what was your family? Um, well, you know, uh, my dad, my dad right. was one of the original Barcades. Barcades. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, who also played with Otis Redding. Right. You know what I mean? So the Barcades were like the house band right. for Stax Records. Right. I remember so that. if you played, if you did music and you didn't have a band or somebody doing your music, uh, Barcades did all your music. Right. right. So when you did, when you heard stuff like, please, uh, that got to, got to. Right, right, right please. Uh, I have any swag. Right, right. That's my daddy right. playing the bass. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Or Shaft. Right. Now, now I'm, I, I said, your father wasn't caught in that accident, was it? The, the no. plane wreck. 
my dad was part of the Barquets, but my dad was the one who missed that plane. Wow. He didn't miss the plane on purpose. Right. They always had two guys who had to fly commercial. That was a private jet, and those guys were flying with Otis. Right. With Otis right. Redding, right. and they were with the band. And one of those guys was my my uh, my godfather, oh. who was Ben Collie, who was the only survivor. Mm. He was right. the only survivor. He survived. And the the other guy was one of uh, my dad's best friend, whose name was Phelan, Phelan Jones. Hence. I'm Phelan Alexander. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, just, yeah. Right, just for, for those who don't, those don't remember, Otis Redding died in a plane crash, in a small plane crash. Yes. And they had some of the members of Barquet with them. Unfortunately, all of them but one passed away, right? Mm -hmm. And it came, it's crazy, too, because it was like, I remember seeing it getting pulled out by in a the ocean. Right, right, but but look like by by a dock, by, by the yeah. ocean, but dock, and then sitting on the dock of the bay, it came out right behind it. It was right, weird. It was weird. Yeah. Wow, wow, dude. Yeah, you know I heard about saying? that. Yeah, they told me about that. Yeah, wow. Yeah, you know. You know what's funny with the bar case? I only remember the bar, bar case when I moved to D.C. when Holy Ghost came out. That was my song. Dun, and you know what? It's Ghost. crazy because I was that living was like, in California. Damn. I had just moved to California with my mom. Okay. And uh, she was like, she was like a new Christian. Okay. So I wasn't allowed to listen to that record. It's really? Like, it's like your daddy and them got a record out talking about oh, some girls man. love like the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. That was the you can't, you can't listen to that. So you know, of course, you know, I, I had to find somebody to listen to right. because I'm listening to my daddy's music. Right, right. And I was like, and it took me like a couple of weeks because everybody was talking about it, talking about it. You know, all the older right. cats they sure. talking about it. And they're like, man, that new Barcade, boy, that new Barcade. Right, right, right. yeah, everybody talking about that. I'm like, man, I gotta hear that. But but, but it, it felt like it felt to me like. They became funkier later on than the beginning with, with Otis Redding. Am I mistaken for that? Because that uh, Holy Ghost. Yeah, I mean because like I mean they they had to they had to. I Get think once they got Larry Dotson, Larry Dotson wasn't a part of the, the original Barcade. Okay. When they revamped, he was from the uh, from a group called the Tempreys, I believe. I remember them. Okay. They were the old old school group, but but they weren't as, as, as successful. But but you know they 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 got uh, Larry Dotson. Larry Dotson was came in there and they and they just kind of create. He had this funky voice that wow, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Killed that song, yeah, you know, you know, Holy all of that. that. So, yeah. so he had that funk. You know, what I mean, I was on the road with people like Cameo, Parliament Funkadelic, Brick. Right. Um, wow, right. Switch, switch. not Come not on. the barge, but switch. Come on now, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 I was yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's the, the lead? The lead switch that sounds just like his brother, Bobby. The Bobby, 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 what? Bobby the Bar, yeah, like cold, like, yeah, yeah, he was cold, dope. man. Yeah, man. Cold, yeah. man, you uh -huh. ain't and being backstage is a whole nother. How old were you that time? Man, I, was, I had to be Seven, like eight, eight six, wow. six or eight. But I was back with my pop, like from a little one, because I was, because you know when you into what they into, then it's easy for me to be around, because right. it ain't like you got to do a whole lot for me, because I'm content. Right, right. When when I'm in the room, like some kids, they don't, they can't sit in the studio sure. for sixteen hours. Right. I can't, because so, I, I I actually loved it. And isn't that crazy at such a young age to know that that's what you like, to make music, you know, to follow your father's footsteps? Yeah. I mean, but you know, though, because I, I, we got kids now. Like a friend of mine got a two-year-old, and that boy sits in the studio all day long. And I just look at him like, wow, that's wow. me. That's me. That remind me. You know what I'm saying? Right, that remind me, yeah, you know, my father was a pimp, so I, I started feeling that. You know, I started seeing holes. Yeah, my and uncle was a pimp. Yeah, my uncle so Bunny. I, I damn near pimped women until about two weeks ago. I said, damn near stop. <laughs> No, I'm still like, pimping. I'm like, I mess with you, but great. So, okay, when you were that young, how did you transition into you doing music? You know, like at ten years old, you started playing keyboards or something. Well, of course. Well, my mom, you know, she sang background with people like uh, DJ Rogers. I don't know if you know about mm -mm. DJ Rogers. Mm -mm. If you listen to, uh, I don't fuck with you, say yeah, right. yeah. Right. In, that, in that background. Okay, that's one of my mom's records. Oh, wow. Also, um. Uh, you ever heard that uh, that that Common did the, the song "Faithful to the End"? Remember that? That's my mom. Actually, her voice. Really? Yes. She sang with she sang with also with Philip Bailey and the oh, Living Epistles with uh, uh, Billy Preston, mm -hmm. uh, the Gap Band. She's wow. actually singing on uh, "I Don't Believe You Really Wanna Dance." Really? Oh, no, 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 come on! Yeah. You? Really? Yeah. I'm in the studio with all of them. You know what I'm saying? You don't wear a cod piece, do you? A who? A cod piece. What's that? Well, Larry Blackman, the little red thing up in front. You know, no, I mean, come on, come on. No. you might start wearing that. Where you be? No, no, shit, okay. rub off, man. I'm gonna make sure you straight up. Are you no, good no, right no, now? No, no, no. You good right now? Okay. I'm Gucci man. You Gucci. <laughs> I'm not Gucci man, but I'm Gucci. Yeah, okay, okay. 
<laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you crazy. Wait. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, that's okay. Okay. And so then your mother, she transitioned to gospel music then? She was like, she was doing gospel, but okay. she was, she started, she was doing funk and soul, of sure, course. Sure. And it was, it's easy to parlay gospel because, you know, a lot of the uh, gospel folks sang funk. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, you know, you. Uh, oh, you're right. Uh, Fuck up, alpha disco, beta, right. alpha dealer. Right. You know, that, that sounds like a choir. Right, right. Never learn to swim. No, All no, of that, no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So it, it ain't far from the church. All right. of them folk came from the church. Right, right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. And that's where I came from. Okay, okay. So at what age did you did you know that this is what you wanted to do? You know, like start trying to produce. Really? Yeah. Okay, so when did but you start? But I didn't start doing? honing into it until I got a little older. Because of course, you know, with being being raised mostly by my mom, and only visiting with my dad like in the summer and and where he live at? He was in Memphis. And your mom was where? Cali. Okay, LA. Cali. We were okay. in L.A. Oh wow, nice. yeah, we were okay. in Inglewood, you know, okay. in that area. Okay, 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 yeah. cool, cool. Well, what were some of your influences back when you started feeling like you wanted to do it yourself, producing? Like what? Man, I was an old soul. Al oh, really? Green, uh, Bobby Womack. Nice. Uh, well, I used to date his niece. Okay. And you too? Yeah, we are. Yeah, okay. You know, okay. so, you know, um <laughs> she she was she took she just kept on saying, I'm I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna take you to my Uncle Bobby's house, I'm gonna take you to my Uncle Bobby. She's not knowing that I'm a fan, right? Wow. So we're going Christmas time. So I'm going, we're going up these Hollywood Hills. We're mm -hmm. going up to the top of the hills. I'm just like, dang. So she keeps saying, Bobby, Bobby, who's Bobby? I thought, Bobby Rush? Bobby, I don't know. I'm Bobby not, Rush, I don't know. Bobby like, you know Bobby. what I'm saying? Oh, like, wow. So I see this little sports car, a convertible sports car, and I see this big old dude with the little, you know, that little hat, like, uh, what's that little hat? Like a Koofy. A Koofy, You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. He's a big old dude. I was like, nigga, that's Jim Brown. Jim Brown's getting in the car, pulling out of your uncle. That's it, that's Jim Brown just pulled out of your uncle's driveway. She said, yeah, that's my Uncle Bobby. So she kept saying, my Uncle Bobby, like, Uncle Bobby. Right, right. So he opens the door, said, I know you. You James, son. He had on some slacks. What? He had on a robe. He had a phone in his hand and a cigar and a, and, a, and some wine. Yeah, nice, nice. With big old rocks and rings on. I'm like, just looking like Bobby. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Nah, lovely. He said, man, I'm going to call your daddy, man. He said, hey, go say hey to everybody. He's like, man, that's James, son. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. And she tripped out. She was like, you know him. I'm like, no, nah, I remember our brother. Right, before. sure, sure. So you were kind of indoctrinated into this. Yes. Is this is this yes. really what you had, was supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Around all the musical influences, mm -hmm. your father was in it. It was, you know, uh, yeah. I, 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 that's dope. Um, now, when you started to make me, I understand you said you were influenced by older people, mm -hmm. but was there anybody younger you said, I want to write for them, I want to do music for them? Like, when Bobby, did you Brown. Start? Bobby, Bobby Brown. Brown. Bobby Brown. Um, uh, LL Cool J. Really? Um, I always wanted to write for people because I was like, man, th this song would be dope or this would be, be. I, and, and of course I had songs that I wanted to do, but then I would write songs. I'd be like, this sounds like something for somebody like Sherelle or, right, or, right, or, wow. or, or TLC or, or, you know, when TLC came along mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. or even, you know, uh, uh, Jody Watley. I'm like, right. man, I was always all over the place now, and now I love you pop. Okay, pop, you know pop what I'm saying? Okay, Duran, okay. Duran. Right. Um, what? what you know about Duran, Duran? Man, Duran. The, Depeche talk, Mode? Yeah, Depeche Mode, Talking come Heads. Come on. You, you know about like John saying? Cougar Mellencamp, too. He wasn't mad. Yep, John Cougar was dope. Come on, come on. John, yep, come on, I go yep, all day with this now. All of that, yeah. Wow. Elton John, even. Uh, yeah, Elton John, all that. Even Elton John was yeah, dope. Yeah. Your song was my favorite song. Paul man. McCartney. Paul McCartney. You know what I'm saying? Those, all those guys were dope. Wow. Okay, so what, what did you like best, better doing at that time? Producing music or writing it? Cause you had to come with a beat in your mind and do I all that. I was more of an artist back then. Really? Yeah. What was your I, name? I your name was what it is? Phelan. You went by Phelan. Phelan. Yeah, Phelan. Okay. All right. Phelan. Yeah, I was on Electric Records. Give it up for Phelan. Yeah, yeah, right. Phelan. No, yeah, Jazzy yeah. Faye. Back yeah, then, yeah, Jazzy Faye. Phelan. No, Jazzy Faye. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Going Jazzy Faye. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I can't. I came around. I came around. <laughs> but what happened was I was signed to a label in Memphis, okay. a local label called Mega Jam Records. And a guy by the name of Terry Starks. Terry Starks was like, like one of our neighborhood heroes, per se. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he was really close with like Penny Hardaway. Okay. He even to this day he works with Penny. You know what I'm saying? He works very close with Penny. And um, he was like one of those guys behind the scenes, like making sure Penny had everything he needed on the way to his road to success. success. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So we were there at Treadwell High School when it was only standing room, you know what I mean, to come watch this kid play. Mm. And we saw, you know, um, 
people like uh, 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 Spike Lee. Spike Lee would come and he would be in there. Yeah, because the Penny Doll, too. Yeah, right? he, so, he yeah, was yeah, a Penny yeah. fan, huge yeah. Penny fan. This is when you visited your father in Memphis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Okay, well, that, that, that's actually inter that's interesting. Um, what's the craziest thing someone tried to do to get you to listen to their music? You ever had something crazy or somebody tried to approach you? Like, like what's. Well, I always wonder some crazy stuff. The craziest thing somebody. Just threw a CD in your car? Open the legs? Man, they do it all. They, they, that's, that's common. <laughs> oh, okay. Throwing okay. a CD in the car is okay, common. common. That's common. Rapping right in front of your face. Oh, uh oh, Here I know. Uh oh, I was at a wedding. Oh hell, come on. I was at a wedding. Okay. And it was a young lady. So okay. so she was getting married. Okay. I didn't know her. I knew the guy. I knew one of the guys that was a friend of the, the guy that she was marrying. Okay. So I didn't really know him. He knew me. You know, uh -huh. I was popular. Uh -huh. Sure. So. And I was like when I first started in the game. So he was like, you know. um, my wife wants to dance with you. I was like, okay, cool. But I'm like, you know, dance mm -hmm. with somebody's wife. Yeah, you know, I'm like, yeah. I don't really know her. Like, right, right. What the, she ain't dance with her daddy yet or nothing right. like that. So she wants to dance with me. So I'm, I was like, I start dancing. And so she just starts singing this song, but it's like a sexy song. Oh, what? And so, but she's acting it out. And uh -uh. Like, I'm like, bro, this is not cool. I, I literally left her standing there by herself. Wow. I had to. I, I couldn't. Because I, I, cause it wasn't cool. It made me uncomfortable. Right. How was it, the song? How was the song? I can't remember. Damn. I was yeah. too busy trying to get out the way. I know that's right. Ain't nobody trying to mess up nobody wedding. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow, damn. All right, well, then let me ask you a question. How do you choose when you want to produce somebody or not produce them? What's the, what's the feeling? Star, it's got to be star quality. Okay, well, that, okay what's that mean? It got it to be star quality involved. Um, not, just, not just star quality, but... You got to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean yeah, by? It? I mean, if, if if you come in to sing a song and you can't sing. Oh well, okay. Yeah. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. But 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 of course you get good. And singers. nowadays you got to be serious about it. Oh, what's that mean, serious? I mean, when you come, like, if I go on your social media and you ain't talking to nobody, you're not you're not trying to sell anything. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I love people who go to work. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we work hard to get here. Right. So I mean, you you got to go to work. Mm -hmm. You got to go to work. But if you're not if you're not trying to work, if you're not pushing your your craft, then I mean, what are you what are we here for? Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because now you feel that artists should be able to, to do more of their own labor of getting themselves of out there, but opposed of to that time twenty years ago when we. I know. can't push you harder than you go. I mean, because when I get on social media, and and we and we did a song last week that it, that came out. I'm gonna post you at least four times. Okay. Every week. Okay. Every week. If I don't see you posting at all, what makes me want to post you? Yeah, but 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 are hits easy to come out? Like like like, is it more the machine? Like back in the day, you put a hit on the radio, it seemed like it would DJs would play it and then it'd be oh, a hit. Oh no, it, it's like like right now, it, you 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 just never know. It really? might be a chilling squad. It might be a chilling squad. Like I got a song. Um, you ever heard that song? I just want to rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab of ranch. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You heard it before? I'd be locked up. All I yeah. ever had was a rolly, rolly. Little kid song. Okay. You cannot go to a, a kid party without hearing this record. Uh -huh. At least two or three times. Right. The record did two and a half billion streams. What? I found these kids on Instagram dancing. You know what I'm saying? I got them on Fortnite. I got them everywhere. But is it more about business now or by talent? Are them kids gonna have another hit? It's all about it's all about wave. It's all about catching the wave. Somebody catches the wave. I mean, but of course, you know, you're gonna have artists right. that come through, like her. Right. Like Giveon. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh like even Lil Baby. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like certain artists have that stay in power. Okay. You know what I mean? They just they just they just come through. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They and they and they're consistent. Kendrick Lamar. You know what I mean? Uh, the new kid, Toby and Wigway. Oh, yeah? Okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to interview him. Okay, let me ask you a question. Um, I asked Dr. Dre this one time. I said, has there ever been an artist that you had a chance to produce, but you didn't? You let it slip and you kind of regret it? And guess who he said? Who? Oh. Your boy. Who? Oh. MC Breed. Wow. He said, because the future of the what was the song? Future and Your Friend. Right, right. Future and Your Friend. Front, it didn't sound exactly like that when yeah. he got it. And then, you know, he passed on it, yeah. and, and then someone else got it, and then they turned it to that. He said, that's the only song. I was in the car when we did a video together. This is before Dr. Uh, Eminem came out. 
So we were driving. And Bree loved yeah. Dre, man. And I know. And you used to hang with him at his house and all that. What, 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 what the hell? Bree put me on. Really? Yeah, he was Bree the one put, put you put me on. on. <laughs> Funny thing, uh, Bree, when I when I first moved here in uh, 93? No, yeah, 92. 90, 90, 93. By September. 93. 93. <laughs> <laughs> 90, 93. <laughs> it was summer. Right, right. It was summer. It just got yeah, yeah. August. Summer. I'm on It had August. to be about June. Right. Okay, about so June like 5th. That. June 5th. Yeah. Like, 93. Yep. I met in the studio. <laughs> I met Breed up there. My fast forward, my 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 um my uh my manager, mm -hmm. Carolyn Miller rest of her soul, she passed away. Oh. But she she took me to Breed. She was like, I know MC Breed. Now, mind you, we had already been staying. We had moved to, uh, like, Atlanta, like, trying to, you know, trying to yeah, win. Yeah, sure. Everybody's so, so she she take me to the studio. Why, when we got down to our last, we didn't, we didn't have no money. What? You know what I'm saying? So we get to the studio. He comes out. He's like, yo. He's like, Carolyn, this this, this jazzy. It's like, so you said, I heard you got some beats. He said, play me one. So I played him one. He said, you did that? I was like, yeah. He said, play me another one. Second beat. Second beat. He's like. Hey, you did that? I'm like, yeah, I had a Nike box with my beats in it. Right, right. On disc. Right. Like, I did right here. I can load it up. He's like, bet, play me another one. He said, I said, I said, bro, man, I, I whatever you want to do. He said, he said, um, so where you guys staying at? We we looked at each other like shit. In the car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you okay. know what I'm saying? And, and that we like, what, Nissan. We were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's hotel. like, so how long y'all gonna be here? So we kept looking at each other. So he pulled her to the side, came back 30 minutes later. I was like, hey, look, I want you to come stay at my house for as long as you can, you, you want to stay. I got a studio in my basement. I'm cleaning out the room right next to my room, and I'm gonna give y'all that room. Wow. And I moved in this house. Right, and right. And I've never left Atlanta since. Wow. Hey, did you leave the house? I left the house. Okay, I know you just I called I you. I didn't know where I was calling you from and stuff. Okay. No, I had to leave the house. Oh, okay, my bad. You know, but you know what's crazy? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still downstairs. Everybody came to Bree's house. Oh, yeah. I met Too Short at Bree's house. Mm -hmm. I met mm -hmm. MC Bree. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I met at Bree's house, I met Too Short. I met um, uh, G hooked it up. You know, you know, uh -huh. G. G hooked it up. He like, he hooks up everybody. Yeah, he connects. Like, so, connect. Yeah, he connect you to connect. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric Sermon, Red Man. Yeah. Method Man, Tupac, everybody. Oh, all at Breeze House. Breeze House. Nice, nice. Everybody came. That song was hot. That song, that song was banging. And he had another song after that that I liked. I can't remember the song, but it was, it was dope. It came out maybe four or five years later. Yeah. That I really dug one time. I remember I was in New, I was in Michigan because I think he's from Flint or something like that. Yeah, Flint, them, Michigan. Say yeah. Flint, yeah. And I remember uh, I was doing a show and they let me listen to the new one. I said, "This is dope." The beat. I wish yeah. I, I I can't remember what the song yeah. was, but that that okay. But speaking of this, I've always been interested in music. Like say. You produce a song, right? You produce, right. and you give it to somebody to listen to. How how can you make sure they don't steal it from you, the beat and all that, and they take it you in? Can't. Ooh, you gotta trust people. No, you can't. What? You can't. You can't do but they that. Have a, they have a code though now. Now, they, but back they, then, I'm talking about. Well, no, yeah, no. So I mean, some, you just have to hear it and copyright it. Call call your your uh, lawyer. Wow. Make sure you got it copywritten as well. Wow. You gotta have your paperwork. Straight. Cause so, cause some people probably stole some beats. Oh come on, man. That's terrible, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna say no names. I know. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm quite. I know you do know. Come on. Good, I'll say them later. Good on. gang of them. Woo wee! <laughs> oh boy! That, that, no, that, that's terrible. That's terrible. And, and 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 what is an artist, beginning artist? What should he look for financially from a beat he makes to give somebody? Like publishing three percent, three percent. Like how, how much money are you supposed to get for a beat? I, mean, I made a beat for man, somebody. Man, you get what you negotiate for real. Really? Yeah, you get what you negotiate because. If you're smart these days, you'll go buy the beat. You'll go buy it outright. I mean, now some You mean people, the artist will buy the, the thing, yeah, right? Yeah, if you'll just go buy it. You right. know what I mean? Because some of these people will sell it. Like they no will, publishing involved, nothing. It's just, I after mean, I get the money. give a person publishing. Why should you? I'm just, uh, I mean, so half they, white, man. I mean, so they, Sorry. Can eat, so they can eat, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I gave you some money. Jewish? Jewish? Yeah, no, I ain't Jewish. No. Just that, I mean, the worst white like, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm German, man. How can he? I ain't do no, 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 no publishing. <laughs> I ain't publishing. I gave you money already. No publishing. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. No. <laughs> Boy, you, you, you drive a cold truck, Jack. The meat wagon. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's 
that would have a meat wagon. Damn. Okay, I don't want that meat wagon. All right, I'll give you a, a couple a couple points on production yeah, man, and publishing. Yeah. Damn, man, you squeeze it, man. Like, man shit. Yeah, man, but you know, I'm trying to be Leo Cohen in here. About 15 bit. points. <laughs> okay, so you should you, you should never really sell it outright. For you shouldn't. An album. You shouldn't really sell it outright a beat. Is there a beat? Nah, nah. Okay, you should try to get something out of get it. Get your publishing. Publishing, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, then There's 50 allotted, 50% allotted for the publishing side, right. for the for the production side, mm -hmm. and the writer side goes on the other 50%. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What is a, and let me just, I know you can't maybe give me 100% answer to this, but let's give me, for instance, like a young guy from Tennessee. Right. Got a bomb beat. Uh-huh. And let's say, it depends on who it is, like let's say Gucci right. asked for the beat. Right. Gucci got him, you got him deep by it now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Should you hit him in the head for well, about Gucci 50? Gucci ain't going to pay you a lot for it because he, gonna, he give you an opportunity. Oh, my God. With the opportunity. What's up with the opportunity? I can't eat opportunity. You got to be hot, though. Shit. What do you mean you got to be hot? Gucci could get you hot. Yeah, but uh, shit. But you can give it to Gucci, and then you can sell it to Pookie. Oh, no. I thought you were going to give it one. What? what? You can give a the beat. beat. Not, not that same beat. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. You give another one to put. Right, 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 right. You get the money. Hopefully, you can do that again. It ain't luck right, for right. you. Ooh, wait. You get in there and you can, oh, you can start no, selling beats because of Pookie. I mean, okay, of Gucci. I, I hear you. Gucci might give you a little something. No wonder you got to yell your name on the button. Please, thing. by all means, go in there and get that relationship with Gucci. Right, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? And on the front end, you should negotiate where Gucci say your name. I heard that. That's what I'm saying. That's right. Because some people nowadays, they like to take the tags off. Hell no. Nah. Because cause, cause to some people, like, you're making my music sound generic with that tag on it. Right, but shit. That's the downfall. My of stomach growling. Going. My stomach growling, Gucci. Hey, man, listen. It's all about what you negotiate, brother. Broke producer. Listen. <laughs> Broke producer JJ. <laughs> listen. <laughs> but if, but if, you, if, you negotiate, it, if you negotiate it right, if it's something Gucci really want bad enough, right. maybe you'll get it back. Okay. Okay. That's how it's done. I doubt it. But damn. But yeah, yeah. I can you got it. to be somebody. Right. I say that's I was, just the, that's just the way they do it. They do it like man, I'm gonna give you twenty five hundred, boy. You better go. On. I heard that. I ain't never heard of you. Damn. That's I how know. they are. I, I, I was in the studio with Dr. Dre, and he would have some beats. You know, I, I was in there with Drew, right. Eminem and all that. And I'm record honest. one. Huh? I did record one. In L.A.? Yeah, record one. Yeah, you're everywhere. Come on, okay. man. I work you with remember, Dre. Remember Mailman? I work with Dre. I work with Mailman. Come on. I remember, I was in the studio All then. those guys. Now, EST, look. all of them. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. Just slow down. Just slow down. Some people I know. I mean, you're getting deeper. But no. I'm <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is what this is what I'm going to tell you. Got love for Dre. But Mailman will do the, most of the beat. And yeah. Dre will be like, an ominous music he does. And it be produced by Dr. Dre and Mailman. But right. but he's there for Dr. Dre. Oh, don't do that. Well, you sound like me in the white side. No, he's there for Dr. Dre. Oh, okay. Mailman is just a vessel. He vessel the whole 90% of the song he vesseled. Yeah, it's okay. Hell no. You get what you negotiate. Ooh. Now, if he'd have put his foot up on the table right. and said, Dre, you hear that shit? Right. That's me. Right. I need da 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 right. before any business is done. Right. Now, if you don't do that. Right, it's what it is. You get what you well, get. When Dre was smart, he would hire, like, he, he brought some young cats from um, Pittsburgh, you know, yeah. Sneed and all them, and yep. put them in a room, yep. and house them up. And Storch. They had to come, and they had to come, yeah. Scotty? Yeah, right. No, well, now, now, wasn't Scott, at the time, it wasn't Scott Storch. Oh, he came later. Okay, yeah. He, but, but he said, you know, look, I pay y'all X amount of money, put you in a room, and I need three usable beats per month, or something like that, whatever the thing it was. Right, so, right. yeah, so I get it, so yeah. yeah. But, uh, but I was just amazed Focus. how much. Huh? Focus was what you meant. Focus. I meant focus. Mm -mm. focus no, no, hard no, too. No, no, no. Was he? Yeah. But yeah, but like, but I heard like like stuff from um for uh what, what's the guy from um the car show uh exhibit, exhibit. he exhibit. did exhibit stuff. I was like, well, I heard the beat. I was like, damn, I know this song. My boy bump, did it. Bump, uh, bump, yeah, a lot of that, bump, man. Yeah, bump, bump. yeah. So 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 so, so I, I think Petey Diddy does the same thing. He has a hitman or whoever it was of do course. the beat, and then he puts the you know take that take that twice, and, then, you know, <laughs> and, he, and, he, and, he, and he took that took but that. But Diddy knows what he wants. <laughs> right. Diddy knows what he wants. He will tell you, take that shit out. Take mm. that out. Take that out. That's too right. much. Take that back. Right. Tr switch that around. Do that. Okay. Bam, bam. Do that. That's not, put the bad boy shakers on that. Shh. Right. I bet. And That's it turns it. to another song? Same with Khaled. DJ Khaled too? Yeah. Same thing. Ah, take that out. Oh, no. Take that out. Too much music. Take some of that stuff out. Right, right. What do you do? You do that too? I do all of it. I do all of the above. That out, put that but I out. make I make my music though. Okay. I make a lot of music, but I still 
have guys. I got Dempsey, my my my, my young guy Dempsey on the beat. I got Quinn with the keys. I got um. I got a bunch of guys. Right. All right. So you 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 I don't want to say discover, but would you would you would you do this? Did you discover or promote help push up Sierra? No, like, I, I pretty, pretty much, much kind of discovered. Yeah, because with yeah. goodies, you know, you took it to another. Well, yeah. speaking of goodies, uh, did you see the Oscars? Yeah. The butt nakedness? Yeah, you saw that a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. I seen the butt nakedness. Oh, yeah. I ain't say nothing to her, but, you know. Right, right. Why, yeah. why you say nothing? Like, woo, woo, woo. No, I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Been there, like, done, like been there done that. She's like my kid, man. What? She young, she's that much younger than you? I mean, I mean yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, she's I fine. bought her first car from graduation. Damn, really? Yeah. Okay, okay. No, man, yeah. She had it all, too. And she's a, she's a person that maybe she doesn't strive. And so I don't know how she does. But I hate it. She looked good. She can dance. She can sing. But the career didn't move like, you know, like some of the other girls. Like, well, is it just the business mm-hmm. aspect of this year or what? Man, I think, I think sometimes, you know, when you get in the music, you know, you get in the business, um, and it's so many smoke and mirrors, okay. you know, and there's so much going on. When you get there, it's like a group effort. Oh, Jazzy, Sierra, 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 Then that's all you hear. Oh, you don't hear Jazzy no more. You don't know. All right, right. No, well, makes you sense. Yeah. You're not. You're not. You're not thinking about the foundation. Right. You're not thinking about which it was what it was built on. Right. Not if you're 17, 18 right. years sure, old. Right. Sure. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we, the way we separated was kind of like by management. We were managed by the same person. Okay. So when you break up from your management and you go this way, you leave everything back here. Oh. There's no, no, this, you know, we never had an argument. Sure. We never had a fight. Business. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's like, I'm going this way with my career and I'm going to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, but to me, I think that, that makes you feel like you were It becomes what than... it's going to be. Because even on the second album, it was kind of like, we ain't really talking like we supposed to be talking, right. but I wrote a record for Janet Jackson, and it was ooh, the way I'm feeling, me right. I'm feeling you. Right, right, right. And it ended up being the record for Step Up soundtrack for mm-hmm. her and Chameleon Air, which was also end up being right. a big record, a huge right, record. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it was like she messed around, and heard that record, and like, uh oh, I gotta have this record. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it really jump started her. Second album, and it was platinum as well. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? But it just kind of like, you know, but we're back. Good, good. I was going to say, and yeah. we got And we got something coming. That's crazy. Because cause what I don't like is when something's going good, and people just feel like want to change it. And it ain't yeah. even, and it just started. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can understand you're on your fifth album, and it started to dwindle a little bit. Then you jump yeah. over. But that you, album yeah, just yeah. sold, like, just hit six million copies. Yeah, I know. Like recently, like it just hit six million copies. It was a, it was five for the longest, and now it's six. Yeah, but but right, right. But let's. I mean, again, I know you love her, and I hope you you help her out. But she's not where she used to be. Just to be honest, you know, I mean, it wasn't. But, yeah. Well, who well. Really, who really cares though? I do. Shit, I like her. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, the bank, the, the bank don't care. Man, damn the bank, man. She they, they over there. Artist. They over there balling, Jack. They yeah. are not crying. Uh, well, I know that's right. I mean, happy, and she got two hundred million dollar husband, so I mean, hello, ain't, ain't nothing, ain't no problem. Yeah. You lucky to get back with her? Did you thank her? Did you get on your hands and knees and thank her for her to let you come back in her fold? No. Oh, damn. No. Damn. It's about no. that talent. You say you had that talent, too. No, no. It's an even swap. I know. That's right. It's 50-50 love. Uh, okay. Damn that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I, yeah. I'm MVP yeah, on, on, on my team. Mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, well speaking with her, since you do, you're doing something new with her, how do you keep it fresh and not sounding old? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just go back to the old, you know. Cause that, when that song come out? When is Vintage Sarah? always kicks ass. Oh, 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 yeah. But you know who did Vintage and didn't work for him and I love him and stuff? Who? Uh, Raphael Sadiq. Remember that album he did signed from the 60s and shit? That was a bomb-ass album. But you know what? That was Vintage. But you know what? But it wasn't It wasn't even because it wasn't jamming. Right, because it was jamming. Because he might be able to release it now. Yeah, but he released it like six years ago. So? He could, li- listen, let me tell you what, what people do all the time. Yeah. I tell my people all the time. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh-huh. Uh, Starbucks. Okay. McDonald's. Okay. Uh, uh, Burger King, uh-huh. they all repackage and resell. Oof. They all repackage and resell. Repack- what is Dunkin' Donuts uh, uh, motif now? It ain't a donut. It's coffee. Coffee. Boy, you, t- you spitting game right here. Repackage, resell. If I got the suit on, I'm you know why? Because it's yeah, resell it, resell it. Yeah, 
You was a Jew now. Oh. You was a Jew now. Now I can see now you're German. Yeah, okay. Oh, shit. Well, Ivan Drago look good. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Drago! There you go. You must break him. Yeah, really. That's what it is. You must break them. All right. Well, when is this project coming out with Sierra? Because I'm going to be listening for it. Yeah, when real soon. They said Jesus was coming yeah. soon, but, Ain't that but a blip? this is coming very soon. Very soon. Qu yeah. Sooner than Jesus. Okay. <laughs> got a better chance of Jesus coming back. No, no. Yeah, damn, well, cut your grass in the backyard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're, You're stupid. Wrong. You're wrong. All right. So uh, you were, uh, would you say, would you consider this? Because the 90s in Atlanta music scene was the shit. Yeah. Was the shit. The 90s? I was part of it. All that. What? I, know I was, was there. Man. Like, like Nelly said, I was there. I mean, y'all had the y'all had y'all foot down on the music on the Shout negative music. Shout a little song, man. Did you know that was me? No. Shout a freak a little song. No, I didn't. Vintage. They play it every day. <laughs> okay, enough with the vintage. Okay. I'm a, I'm a vintage. Hey, <laughs> man. I, I, man. <laughs> These are vintage frames. I, I, I believe you. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> are them gazelles? And I always love them. Are, are them gazelles? Are, are them gazelles? They, no. Oh. No. These are Goliath. Goliath. These are gazelle. Goliath. Shout out to my my man Corey. You know, vintage frames. I got some coming. Soon. Nice, nice. I got nice. a red uh, acetate red. I'm gonna give you a pair. He said on here. Yeah, I'm gonna right. give you a pair. Yeah, they gonna look good on you too. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Yep. All right, all right. Cause them look good on you. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. You, know, you, see, you see the green popping off? That's like what I'm green saying. Green straw. They, and they're not prescription either. No. Uh, I, thought, mm -mm. I thought I was shopping for eyeballs mm -mm. for a second. In encryption. <laughs> encryption. Yeah. Yeah. And see, it works well. I like yeah. it, man. You, you flat. You but back to, Atlanta, back to Atlanta in the 90s. Okay. Atlanta in All the right. 90s. All right. Let me, let me, let me think. I had, some, I had some ideas of some people. I'm going to give you, as a producer. Yes. I'm going to name some people. You said you, you, know, you had the, uh, the, 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 the old, no, you had the old, uh, 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 you know, Phil. You, know, you, you, you felt the oldness of it. So let me think of some people that... Um, I'm gonna play a word association game with you. I bet. Okay. When I say these names, give me first things coming to your mind. All right. All right. These are some producer producers. I'm okay. Tell, you tell me the film in your in your situation. I okay. Gamble and Huff. What, 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 what do you think about that? Oh man. Yeah. You see, vintage. Come on. Big step. Big step. Big, big step. Steps. Okay. Baby, there you go. Baby, I need your love. Okay. Big classics. Okay. 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 Big classics. Yeah. Um, let's go with uh, the same tone. One of my favorite producers of all time, Tom Bell. Come on, man. Man, um, just big, away, big horn arrangements, big strings and horns. Yeah, he yep. he, he kept the what's names rolling. Uh, 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 spinners. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's that. that was, that's the uh, way he love goes. Come on now. Baby. Come on. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that. On, he said the the, the, the one that's uh, in the fork in the road. What's that song? In the fork in the road. Um, I'll be around. Yeah, I'll be around. Yeah. But he said he had his, the lead singer sing off key or off step or something. Did, 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 did you feel like he wrote? He said that because that's one of my favorite songs. I did my research on that song. But he said that he had the lead singer. I forgot the lead singer guy. Fro. I don't have Fro back then. I guess. But he said he had him singing like off key, like like not off the right right letter or whatever note or something. I never right. Heard that. What was his name? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, the lead singer. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, songs of all time. All right, let's go with uh, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. What comes to your mind? Oh, man, um, G Funk. Okay. G Funk. Okay. okay, okay, I like that. I like that. G Funk. Yeah. And that, 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 that's, that's befitting him. What about it's, it's, it's one of your contemporaries? Huh? All of them are, but uh, Timberland. Timberland. That's right, Timberland. <sighs> Ooh. Dang man. Like, when I think Timberland, I think Missy. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was on tour. Pretty much like Snoop Dogg and Dre. Like, Snoop and Dre is Timberland. I guess. Timberland but she produced Missy. too, though, right? She produced. Yeah. Missy Elliott, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, Timberland's the. The beat, right. He got them, he had them beats. I remember I was on tour with him in 97 huh? with um, Bone Thug, Jared, Mary J, and um, Aaliyah, and Genuine Drew Hill. And Drew. Aaliyah would always say, this is back in 97, okay? Uh -huh. They would always say, I want y'all, in her, her act, she's like, before I get up, I want y'all to introduce y'all to my, my, uh, my producers. And she, yeah. bring, she brought out Missy. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and I was just thinking, like, who brings producers out? Because remember, producers back then in 97 was back, shut your ass up behind the corner. Nah, she she, she, she kept bringing them out, right? And then, yeah. um, unfortunately, she passed. But then all them songs I started hitting, I'm hearing and stuff. You know, from I her. produced I like, wow. Aaliyah, too. Did you? Yeah, you did you? Yeah. 
Baby, I don't girl, baby girl? I don't want her. That was you? Yep. And, and, and come over. Damn. See, I was signed to Black Ground at, for was a short you? period of time. Yeah. Yep. Make it Barry Hankerson and them. Yep. Come on now. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I used to hang with that. I was on tour with all yeah. of them. We, we really kind of R. revolutionized the way they write ballad, ballads, me and my boy, Jante Austin. We would, because we were the first, like, we hooked up, sat down, made agreement, said that. I thought that R. Kelly did that. Come on, man. I don't know, brother. She wasn't even speaking to R. Kelly at that point. Okay, but I'm just saying the tone, all that. uh, uh, No, no. That was you? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. (laughs) This guy here. Okay, we're going legendary now. Actually, legendary. Quincy Jones. Hello. I'm on now. Man, I think uh, Filling Gaines. Greg filling game. Right, right, I remember that name. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's because yeah. that's that's the that's the Nice. That's, that's that's all of that. Okay. And I and I think about and I think and I think um Saida and I think Saida Garrett. Garrett and Saida I think Garrett, yeah. and yep, and I think um She was a heck of a session singer. I think James Ingram too. Oh, there you go. So he wrote that I want yeah. to love you, yeah. be my thing, young thing. Yeah. That's that's James Ingram. Yeah, remember remember he did that album with everybody and stuff. I'll be sure and everybody that guard Man, secret guard. Gar- uh, Come on now, uh, back on the block. I yeah. think it was wasn't back it? on the block. That's what it's called. Back yeah, on the yeah, block. yeah. Okay, that's what Woo! it was. Yeah, that was uh, crazy. He got everybody together. And he sounded good yeah. too. Everybody, every there's song. Some beautiful music on that album. Yes, too. Yes, yes, yeah. Crazy, All right, crazy real, musicians. Couple more real quick. Mm-hmm. Teddy Riley. Teddy Riley. Yeah. Man, yep, yep. No Riley. guy. Guy. But he produced he was New Jack Swing. He brought a new whole Jack new sound, swing, of course. a whole new sound in. Oh man, yeah, a whole new band. Everybody was biting on that. I was, I was, I'm a big. I was with Teddy like uh, for Super Bowl. Me and Teddy and Keith Sweat, we were all together. Oh, okay. At Keith's house. Okay. But okay. yeah, Keith's like Teddy's one of my favorite guys. Okay. okay. In the business, like way back before I even met him. Mm, mm. One of the greatest. I'm gonna get a couple three, couple three more. Here we go. Okay. Neptunes. Come on, man. I mean, come on. Pharrell. Man. Know, man. Pharrell, me and Pharrell. Well, what like, about the Chinese dude? We're like three days apart. Pharrell, Chad, 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 Chad Hugo. Chad, of course, Chad. but Pharrell. For real? Is, is, Pharrell, yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. For real is the he's the For real. <laughs> you know, he's the poster child. Right, you know right, what I'm right, right. He's the poster child. They work with everybody too. White, man, blacks, on, all they don't give a Come man. on, man. Come on. That, man. That's, that, that, that's interesting. That, that, <laughs> that, that, and I'm gonna get I was sitting there when he when he did that um when he when he was uh working on that uh grinding beat. Really? For the clip with the clips, right? Zoo, zoo, zoo. <laughs> yeah. Sha zoo, zoo, zoo. Sha. At the Chalice in, in LA. Chalice wow. Studios. When you've been Chalice? No, I never been Chalice. Uh-uh. You got the Star Trek doors, you wave your hand and they Oh really? No, no, no. They I slide been there. open. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, yeah, I, I was amazed by them because they just did cross genre music. They, they, they did every step. Nerd in the Yeah, Gwen Stefani, all them. All okay. that. All here's, that. here's another one up that aisle, out that same aisle. All right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm two more. Kanye. Yeezy. Oh, of course. Come on, man. Is he a mad genius or he just mad? Mad genius. Mad genius. Mad genius. Yeah. yeah. Mad genius. He's, um, man, vanguard, man. He's a vanguard. Misunderstood. Um, I think he is, he's without Donda. You think, you think, you think, that, you think that's, that's really what you That's his biggest quirk. You know what I'm saying? I think Minus his mom, it right. just throws almost derails him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't think he will ever get over it. Mm. You know wow. what I'm saying? I don't think like and and I'm not. You're not supposed to get over it. I mean, but right, I, I guess I'm, right. But if you know what I mean when I say get over it, right. like sure, it can't be the leading it's thing like in life. To always an right. obstacle for him, right. and I think he uses it in his everyday, like in his, you know what I mean? Right. And um. Hopefully he can, you can, know, can get over, can know, yeah, because he's, he's, he's about, because yeah. he, he, he's, he's, I think he's ready for, he's about to emer- reemerge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with a whole group of people, mm. you know what I'm saying? Manufacturers, uh, distributors, and everything. He's gonna come and he's gonna be self-contained. Mm-hmm. That's how he's gonna. That's how mm-hmm. he's gonna. Right. Regurgitate this thing. It, 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 yeah, I like. I like. I met him once or twice. I met Kanye, but I just feel like you know. I, we know which, we we rooting for him, yeah. black people. We know yeah. we're rooting for him, but sometimes I feel like he just I hate to say the word disappoints us. I mean, but 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 it's you like self sabotaging. Yeah, it's like dude, just chill. Just one second, just chill, brother. He can't, he can't yeah. help it. He got too much information. Oh, 
Okay. He got okay. too much information. Yeah, yeah. He, he saw a lot. Mm. And you know how you just you just try to cram so much in one space? Because I've, I've sat with him. And, like, if you sit with him over a period of time, it's like, okay, he's scattered. It's just, it's right. all Lots over. Of, right. Like, he's really getting in this space. And if you really notice, if you ever see anything or his space, living spaces and everything, it's like almost nothing in any of his spaces because mm. everything is like in his way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And sometimes that's good, but sometimes that's a problem. Mm. That's what Albert Einstein said. He wears the same clothes all every day. Yeah, so it, it makes it difficult mind. for coexistence. So uh-huh. you got everything. When you you in, you in here and everything is out of out of the way. There's nothing here, mm-hmm. and this is where you live every day. You go in your closet, everything's perfect. When you go outside, everything is the opposite. Makes sense. Okay. So you you go outside, and it's like you you know a little baby going outside in ten degree weather. Right. Right. It right. ain't good. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna say the same thing, but another way. He's better when he's self-contained himself. <laughs> he can be the genius and do everything yeah. he wants. But when he has to interact with other people. He doesn't have them skills, them social skills, a hundred percent. To me, you know, he, you know, he's he's a habitual line stepper, <laughs> but he just doesn't know what to do. Like, bro, you're, you're a genius when you're in the house and you're building your stuff with, with your company. But when you come out, you may not know how to answer questions correctly or say things. And I think from the heart, he's a good dude. I, mean, I really oh, do great, think he's a really good, guy, a real good person, guy. and he means a real, well. A real fan too. And, me, and he, he knows he got information on your nice. Head. He gonna he'll he'll know things about you. You be like, what? Call me Kanye. Yeah, right, he'll, right, he'll, right, he'll, right. He'll, he'll, he'll know. No, no, I think I think that's just it. Sometimes we're like, Ugh, and he just feel like I'm gonna say it this way. Damn if it's correct or not. This is what I do, you know. And people yeah. start. I hate like Michael Jackson. They put you in a little box and start calling you crazy and nutty and all that kind of stuff. Oof. And then the media goes with it. Before you know it, you're fighting that stigma. And you're like, I ain't nutty. I just don't don't go along with what y'all talking about. Or I don't, I'm not expressing how y'all want to express it. I can't disagree it. with y'all. Yeah, exactly. So right. wow, wow, right. wow. Okay, speaking of, 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 of not crazy, but his guy's been all over. DJ Khaled. Khaled. Yeah, DJ um, Khaled. Now. Khaled is a, a, a character. It would, to say the least. <laughs> I, I, I see him on social media. And, and, and he's hilarious, but resilient, and he won't be denied. And you got to commend that. You know what I'm saying? He won't be denied. He is going to definitely get it, get it across. Get it done. Yeah. Yeah. He that yeah. door 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 to door salesman and got one yes and went crazy. Yeah, I like him. I think he pumps himself up like he's bigger than he is to me. That's okay. Okay to who? That's okay. Yeah. It is okay to whoever. <laughs> got here. Who whoever like it and whoever don't. Right, right, right. I'm like, what they gonna do? Notch. He rolling with Jigger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, he's in the right. He's in the right spaces. Yeah, he's carefully yeah, placed. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. You right about smart. that. Jigga smart. Yeah. Cause Jigga, Jigga, smart? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Man. Yeah, you're right. I know you ain't gonna play them kind of games. Okay, I'm not. I'm not sorry. no, not no, not no real, not yeah. no real Russian. Right. <laughs> I'm a German man. You ain't no Bolshevik. <laughs> no, man. I'm nice and no. Jay Z is good. <laughs> Very good. Right, right. No, I no, no. You're Armenian. <laughs> right, right. Um, have you seen like your stuff? Do you change, like, um, like I say this, like you're more in business and start investing? Because, you know, back in the days, you just wanted to do music. Yeah, of course. Now they these brothers now trying to find Real estate, you got to do yeah. real estate. Really? You got to do real estate. So you got a couple of things happening? Popping I mean, up? real estate is the only thing that's going to, you know, uh, intellectuals being compromised. A lot, a lot of uh, um, uh, these things, are, uh, you know, these, these uh, uh, uh Factions up under the ground with this in intellectual paper, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Bitcoin, this paperless, kind of stuff. yeah, this paperless, yeah. you know, like fail like, one day, fail got, the next day. Yeah, you got you got to be careful. Yeah, I want to be careful. The real estate is going to stand. You know what I'm saying? Take that money and put that money in something that's guaranteed. You know what's funny? I watched a movie called Founder. It's uh-huh. about the guy who started. Come on, home. man, that's cold. That's you remember. You know what? He I said watched, you been in the real estate business. Damn the McDonald business. Right. Get the real estate. And make the McDonald's build on top of your real estate. So you always own that. Ooh, I heard that. That's cold. He, he, was, he cold. was cold, too. He was cold. He's co- you know what I noticed, too? Ain't nobody getting on top being nice. Mm, no. 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 Oh, it took not, me a minute. To get what? To get nice. Get back to being nice. Get, get on top, pretty much. But it, you were nice. It, it, no. I mean, yes, I yeah, was. Yeah, you, was not, you were too nice. That's why too it took nice. you a minute. Too nice. You've been more of an and, asshole. And too, and, too, and too passive. Oh. 
two passes. So you so you agree you gotta be a little something, something. Like like there's no way like me being by myself, there's no way I would showed up like I you, right. I was on time. Right. I was here. Right, you were on time. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? I was man, but you know, you gotta go to like MTV seven minutes late and they tell you that you cannot even get in the building. I love it. Ain't no CP time over there. Then you get it. You oh, start no, you're getting right. it. You start, you be like, damn. They said 10 minutes early is Ooh. late. Ooh, wee. Because you might take you 10 minutes to check right. in. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? And when they close that door, I can't hear no keys jingle. I can't hear nothing. I mean, let me tell you. I'm like, we said 8 o'clock, 8 one, a light switch about to be hit. You right. You came. I we was about to hit them light light. I was her. It'd be Jazzy Nay. Nah, Jazzy yeah, you Nay. Know, he ain't showed up today. Right. But no, nah, you was on time. No, nah, you did you, 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 you did your theater. theater. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do with this part here, this is what I like right here. Yeah. I got a thing called hoish or broish. Hey. I did it with a couple of my homeboys. Or I did it with Steven Jackson. It's a really funny thing. Steven, gonna, that's my guy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something All right. that men do. And I'm going to say men over 25. Let's go right. 25 and above. Bet. Is it a hoish move or Broish move. I bet. You get what I'm going with. Okay, I got you. I said, and you got to think it, you got to tell me what your inclination, your first feeling. Don't be sitting there thinking, well, my boy, my no, I don't hear all that. I bet. When you hear it, you tell me, I hoish bet. or broish? I'm going in. All right, here we go. All right. Real quick. FaceTiming your homie. FaceTiming your homie? Yeah. That's broish. Broish? I don't need to see you, nigga. I know what you look like. Man, like hi, on, man. how you doing? What you eating, man? What you doing over there? What? Uh, it depends on what it's about, though. Man, don't you ever text wanna, me unless you have some girls behind you. You want to show me that. Some, I don't some, FaceTime Yeah, me. sometimes I'm like, you know, I want to, nigga, boy, yeah, okay, that you need part to get I over here. But it'd be the how you doing? You on your couch at the house, he, he, his couch, y'all both tomorrow. What you up to, man? What the hell <laughs> nah, wrong nah, with you, nah, player? Nah. What the hell wrong with you, man? Like when you say FaceTime, you got to be specific if nah, you're going to say it like 25, that. 25, okay. No, nah, because I, I, I mean, most of the time, if I FaceTime you, I'm going to show you that all right, just I'm over here with I'm over here with Pierre. All right, all right. For now, I'm going to say Look, just a talk. Look, you can stop calling me 50 times. I'm oh, over here with oh, him. Okay, here we go. You ready? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a quick show. Wearing Crocs. Ha! <laughs> oh. How is she? Oh, okay. Woo! All right. He said, how is she? I don't, I don't, I don't wear. I don't wear. Oh, no, you got the Crocs on. No. <laughs> Not today. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> Tyler Perry made everywhere to wear Crocs. At this, at this place? Really? Why, how'd you, why would you do How could but you But they do had it? the opening. I went, I was like, well, hey, dog, I was standing there looking at him across for about 15 minutes. <laughs> but, but you won. Like, he, he had to. Uh-huh. We had to be hoist right, that night. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, maybe that night. All right, you ready? <laughs> Eating a pizza with a knife and fork. Come on, bro. I, I'm asking, I don't know how you do. I don't know how you roast Atlanta. That's bourgeois. <laughs> no, okay. That's bougie. I'm, and it ain't bad in bougie either. Ain't bad in bougie? No. I'm going to go with hoish. No man yeah, eat no hoish. damn. No man eat no damn. Pizza that's definitely hoish. Mm-hmm. You better curl All that right. motherfucker up. Ooh. All right, here we go. No. Roll it up. Damn, my nigga. Up. Roll it up. All right. Another one. <laughs> Doing TikTok dances with your girl. Your girl? Yeah, you're 25. All right, that's cool. Really? Yeah. yeah. But it's still hoish, but it's still cool, though. Damn. It's a good hoe. Cool it's a cool hoe. It's a good hoe. You got a hoe yeah. for the house. You yeah, be, yeah. There's some hoes in this house. Yeah, because you, you're a car. Because, like, TikTok with your girl is something that yeah. you're not going to do it blindly yeah. with your yeah. homeboys. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like tell them that you're going to tell them before you put it out. Yeah. So they don't go in on you. You know, me and my girl, we are TikToking. You're not going to just blindly right, right. just post a TikTok with you and your girl. Right, right. That's you got to let some niggas know. You know what I'm saying? Hell to the no, no. All right, all right. Yeah, Another we one. dressed like dog. Oh, 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 I <laughs> know. That's what I'm saying. Face time, it up. <laughs> she got me over here yeah, thick talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> got the but same it's still hoist, though. All right. Here's but it's another. a good hoist. Some, some... Now, average guy, not you. You're a baller. So we're talking about average guy. When you was average, you know, when you was like yeah. six and shit. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. no, no, no. This right here. Letting a woman pay on the first date. Hoish. That's how I wish. If she said, I want to take you out to dinner. Let me take you out to dinner. The only way I let a woman pay on the first date is if she owes me. Ooh, what do you mean? Like, for, for being late because we didn't um, make the date before. Okay. And she was like, and, and I, I, I decided to even pick up the phone. She'd be like, okay, look, I, I'm, I'm paying for it, my treat, right. you know, 
My tree, you let them tree. But hold on, if she was late the first day, did you leave but her? I probably paid the tip anyway. I'm going to do you, something. Oh, I'm going to pay for the parking. Oh, she'll get the tip. I'm going to do all of that. Because I'm just a player. I'm, just, I'm doing all that. Don't worry about that. Okay. I'm going to do the tip. I'm going to do all that. Right. But, but, so she's still winning. All right. So, so but, but hold on. Would you would you bone <laughs> out? How much time a late woman could be late for you bone out before you about to bone out on a date? She's she going to have to call me. At, at what time? Okay. At 8 o'clock date. At what time you like, I'm about to pull out. Like this, you ain't here. Mm. 830? You 16? know what? I usually don't pull out. I just eat. Damn. Okay, let me think about that. I eat and oh, if okay. she makes it. Okay. If oh, she shit. makes it, I'm when she get there, I'm gonna let her have it. <laughs> wow. I'm going to let her have it and I might leave. Oh. It just depends on right. it depends on the girl. How how she looks. Some how women, fine, some right. women like some women, man, that like it just it just hey, when when you get to the party, she might just be the party. Oh, 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 there it is right there. You don't want to just walk out on it because it might right. not, you know what I mean? So I like that. So you're going to order your food regardless of coming out. Eat. Right. And so now you finish with the steak. You're like, ooh. And she walks up and she's like, I want to eat. Uh, ooh, now. Hey, I'm sorry. Handle your business. I'm going to drink. Oh, you'll drink for the next 45 hey, minutes. Good. I'm you're, you're a nice. You're a nice dude. Man, I am. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Am. You are a little too nice. Yeah, but it ain't always like that, though. Yeah. So when you light skin, you ain't got to do that shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Hell no. I text you once after I get there. 15 minutes later, I text you. You don't answer me back. I'm pulling out. Man, listen. Nah, man, you had to learn. My time is valuable, brother. Yeah, mine is too. But yeah, you act like you got time to sit around. Right, man, women, man, I ain't going to say women are always late, but most of them are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, most of them are. Yes. Yeah. Right. So I always, you know, I be on the cusp with them. I like to sit outside for a little while. Okay. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? I talk, you know what I mean? Right. I might talk with some people. You know what I mean? And when I go to first dates, I always go somewhere. Where I'm celebrated. Oh, really? Yes. I'm celebrated. So when I go in, it's like a party. Where you, you know celebrate around town? What, what, oh, what, man, so many places. I got give me you. one. I got you. I got you. Denny's on the I don't want nobody old, showing old up where I'm at. Because yeah. I go to my places. If I say it, okay. I'll be there. Oh, really? So I don't want nobody coming. I like Houston's. Houston's is good. That's old. Man, you go get my number. You, you, are you take me What you do, Houston's? I won't be late. Which one you go to? <laughs> huh? The one on Paces Ferry. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. my wife also. You know, you yeah. I gotta eat. Man. You gotta look all at you. I just hate when you eat. Everybody look at that candy face. That candy face. That candy face. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's me. But let me eat. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's cool though. Sometimes you go and you go for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like this. How you would sign an autograph, take a picture? Do you say like, look, meet me at the door if I leave, or do you take it? Do you, do you let people do it while you in the restaurant? Okay. What, 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 give me some depends. They fine and ain't this about a blimp? Yeah. It's all how she look. When I take the picture, I'm gonna be like, send me that. Oh. You know, you are, yeah. I yeah. never asked for a number. Oh, oh, she'll find a way to send it to no, you. No, I'm going to wait to see what she says. I'm not going to say nothing back. She's going to think I'm going to say something. Oh, she said, give me a number? She's going to speak to me. Okay. She said, give me a number. Because I'm not going to. Yeah, no, I'm just going to say, send it to me. So how you want to send it? Text it to my phone. There you go. Hold on. You tell her to text it to your phone? Yeah. She needs your number for that. Fine. Oh, wow. That's pimpish. Yes, sir. Oh, I like that. Take that. I ain't going to charge you for it. I appreciate that, bro. You got that. Okay. Got okay. That. No publishing needed? No. Thank you, sir. Take that. <laughs> Damn, that's okay. Take okay. That, I, like, I, I like take that. that. Okay. Take <laughs> that. <laughs> Shit. Okay. We do a little oh, thing bro. called <laughs> IG creeping on my <laughs> show. <laughs> and what we do is we go to your IG page and we wonder what you was thinking about when you posted some of these pictures. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Here we about to go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what was you thinking right there? Who, where was this going on with you? Look at you. That's man. my brother. That's your brother? The that's Izzah? my brother. Okay. That's my brother. That um I thought it was more expensive. That, that's Latif. That's Latif. What, what, what the hell you had on, eh? Boy, that was uh, uh, I don't want to Downgrade? Knows. What is that? What yeah, what is that? What they do that that's at? That's my brother, man. Is look, it? look, that look, we had the uh the, the lenses out of my shade. Oh really? Yeah, oh, that, wow. they ain't got no lenses. That's in. dope. I love it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Them was the cameos. But that that was <laughs> um that was in Rialto, California. I know Rialto. Yeah, 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 I went to Eisenhower. Did you really? I, I went to you. Ike. Yep. In really? Empire. Yep. Yeah. In, in, in I knew Empire. the mighty OT. So when you live in California, you live outskirts. That's yep. I sang, oh. it, I sang it at Riverside Mass Choir. Yep. Yep. My and, my, and, my brother, uh, my, uh, my my uncle Kenny was the pastor over there. And that was back then when was nothing really out there. Yeah. It's way built up now. Popping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop back it then now. it was kind of yeah, real desert. Growing. All right, let me see. What was we doing when we was doing uh, this one right here? What was what we get? What we got the flashing for? What we That's doing that Patchworks. That's Patchworks. That's Patchwork. Yeah, Patchwork Studios. I probably put uh, about seventeen 
18 in that hall alone of those records on the wall. Really? Yep. Is it? Is I probably it, got about 50 records in there. 50 when it, platinum records in there. Damn. When it yeah, comes to studios like that, and I hear you rent, like, like, is it like, give me an example. Like, do they say, a record company says it's, that place there says it's $200 an hour to produce it, mm -hmm. you know, and then you say, all right, and then you would produce it, say, all right, and I get my sum, whatever, and you say it's going to take me about two days to mix this thing down, whatever it is. Is that yeah, how that yeah, works? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So that's how the artist got to have the money to produce. That's, that's major right there. You go up in Patchworks, that, that's the best studio in Atlanta. And and is that because uh, it has all the latest equipment type of thing? What, what, makes, what makes one best it, than the other? It has some of the latest equipment, but it's just the best, it's just the best studio. As far as personnel, as far as knowledge, as okay. far as everything, mastering. Okay. It's just a one-stop shop when it comes to recording. Nice. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've Patchworks heard of Patchworks. is great. I've heard of Patchworks. Let's go to the next one. Okay, well, this is another one you wrote. What, Rolex? Mm. That wasn't a Rolex. That I know. Was, oh, oh Rolex. That's the song I was telling you. Right, about. right. I just want a Rolly, Rolly, Rolly with a and that, and that And that means it's that double right there, platinum. Double platinum. Golly. But that, that record is three, three and a half million, almost four million now. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That, those were the kids I found on Instagram. How, how many records do you think you sold? 140 something million. Really? 140 something. That is incredible, brother. Yeah, I saw the your, your discography. That it was ridiculous, bro. I'll stop I, that. Tupac, I'll stop. all that. I'll, I was like, damn, yeah, everybody. Stop. Yeah, you, you work I with. Mean, I sold six million records with Tupac alone. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying. No wonder you can stay at restaurants later and eat yeah, yeah, and drink yeah. a little slower. Yeah. All right, okay, who, who is this lovely young lady? That's my daughter. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she would kill me for that for posting that picture. Really? Oh. My How God. long was this picture? That, that was she's 16 now, so uh, she was like 12. Yep, 11. Yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah. They don't know that. That's, that's too long for her. She's like, uh -huh, that was long. I was, she's like, I'm a little baby that time. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. We got one more. What the, look at that boy. Look how you're living, man. You was thinking what when you stood? What was in your mind with that? Hell Bitch. no. Oh, damn. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Do you see this coat? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, I was I was actually doing a, a photo That's shoot. That's a dope picture. A photo shoot for um, a uh, event with Russell Simmons. He had gave me that 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 bracelet was was part of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. I, I like the whole look. All right. So before we get out of here, we do a thing here. Everybody got to do it. It's called spin the wheel. I heard about the spin okay, the wheel. Okay. You spin the wheel. Yeah. You heard about it. Okay. Okay. So here's a little couple things on the wheel. You might tell us how you lost your virginity if you can oh, remember that. Damn. Yeah. That was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It was. It's, you gotta give us a real secret you have. Who you trade places with and why? Um, get something you want to get off your chest. If something you, you, know, you got something in your mind, you want to get off your chest. Your celebrity crush call. So I want to see what kind of actor you are. You, pick, you get your phone and you make a two-minute call, less than two-minute call to whoever. You say her name and then or him. This is you know we we good like that here. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hell you know, yeah, no. <laughs> it's Atlanta. But um, so you you call and you gotta see either she get to your house. You get her trying to come to your house or you gotta get to her house. Whatever right, smooth bet. move you can do. I want to see your macking game, okay? All right, baby. All right, okay. If it, if it lands on that, um, uh, let me see how you lost your video in there, traded places. The biggest lie you ever told, okay? Right. And I think that is, uh, nothing else. Get it off your chest. I, I, I had, no, I, yeah, it was the same one. But I had one on here that, oh, no, it was another one I had in my other studio I liked. Um, but we ain't, we ain't got that subject. So, all right, y'all, give him a drum roll. So, Mr. Jenny, you're going you gonna to push that boy, put a little something behind there. Let's get that, put that thing in there. Let's get that. Oh! What did it fall on? I'll oh, spin again. Damn, they, they never do Who that. Who does that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Trading places and why. So who do you think you'd want to trade? Anybody. And give me the reason why you would. I mean, I know you're living a good life, but if you had a chance trading to trade places with somebody. Damn, that's not a good one. It's not a good one. You know, like, hold on. My bad. It say trading place? No, it said how you lost your virginity. My bad. That's, like, that's what it was. It fell on this one. My bad. My, my should be twisting up. Yeah, how you lost your virginity. <laughs> G g give us the, the two minute story version, brother, and give, give us details. Damn. Okay, yeah. That yeah, man yeah, said detail. Yeah, give us detail. That's what we're here for. Quiet. Boy, yeah, you Everybody talking quiet. about, you about, yeah, yeah, about yeah, the quiet. whole three minutes? Yeah. Oh, that. Now, ain't about how long it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, listen. It was the summer of. It was uh, 92. Man, when I you was, got here. Well, I was well, I'm about 15. Okay, about so. I'm all right. I'm 15, 14, 14, maybe. Okay. What, what city was you Who's in? Who's counting? Memphis. I was in Memphis. It was in Memphis? Oh, that's easy. For the summer. Ooh. Ooh. Memphis for the summer. It was hot. Summertime, was it, Memphis. Was, it, was I that old? I might have been younger, but we're going to say yeah, 14. Okay, we're going with 15. We're gonna yeah, say, yeah, yeah. we're going to say 14, yeah, okay. 15. 14, 15. Um, I, I, was, I called myself dating this little, this young girl. Her name was uh, Marcinia. 
My, what's her name? Marcinia. Over there, Orange Mound. Oh, hood rat. Go ahead, let's keep going. Hey, boy, you know I it know, too. I know Marcinia Mama. Just keep going. You do? What? Let's go. <laughs> she was really right, right by Orange Mound. Two streets over. Azalea. There it is. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, like, like the plant. Yeah. So, uh, no, everybody was gone from the house mm -hmm. at my grandmama's house. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, we in the grandmama's house, and, and she she asked me, you know, um, have I ever did it? Right. Well, of course, she she had asked me before. Right. But then she you know, she wanted to revisit the question, I guess, since we was in person. On the so, phone you were doing it? Yeah, yeah, we okay. did it on the phone. I mean, right, we talked right. on the oh, phone. Okay, okay, okay. It, but, but that was the first time I was like, you know, mm. We had phone sex one time. Oh, there it crazy. is. There yeah, it is. At a young age. Okay. I like that. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, she, had, so she had grandma's house. Yeah. Y'all closed the screen door. She had a wrought iron door. My Damn. grandma had the wrought iron door. Okay. It was Memphis. So, you I know, understand. we had a door where if you lock the top lock, uh -huh. we'll know somebody coming because you got to open the door. Oh, okay. I got to open the door right. for you because the key don't open that door. I like that. So, you That's know what I'm saying? Come on. I, get I got that. time to... Right. Get my shit together. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. I'm coming. Yeah, act like I'm coming. I'm really coming. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, um, we on, you know, we doing the doing the uh, the the, the hump, ground dry with hump. the pants on. Yeah, the dry hump. Oh, oh my god, man. That's the so worst. she like she's scared to do it. I'm scared to do it. Hold on, she's scared. To do it. She asked you, "Have you ever done?" She's scared. Yeah, but she was still scared. Though. Okay. She was still nervous, and um, I pulled my pants down to do, uh. of course, the dry hump. Right. Was going real well, so it, it, everything was. Uh, so by so by the time I was like, it was like -wee. it was touch and bust. Oh, touch and bust! Damn, <laughs> touch and bust! <laughs> like, Skate, Scott, scoot. They were touch and bust, baby. Wow, I know that's right. Yeah, look, she had that right. touch and bust, y'all. Oh, yeah, touch and bust. Yeah, it was like, oh man, it was terrible. That, that, well, well, for her, I guess. I mean, no, it was terrible for me too, because it was like, yeah. Women always say that. My husband suffers from premature. I was like, why you move? Why you move? I'm breathing. But you ever heard that? You ever like, heard that don't saying? move. You ever heard that saying before? What? When a man, my man suffered from premature ejaculation. Yeah. I say, you know what? We don't suffer. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I tell you what, the second Damn time, man, the second time I redeemed myself, though. Give it three minutes. I did good. Oh, you did? Oh, you good? I you probably did six. Okay, that, that, you doubled up the game. The double game. Six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about. I had to think about shit like Mickey Mouse and you know what I'm saying. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, I had to think about Mickey Mouse yeah. and like stupid shit. Right, like, right. You know what I'm right. No, 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 no. I, I, I thought, that's why. Okay. All right, all right. So it's 15. Grandma was coming. Right, 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 right. And then y'all kept on doing it over and over again. It's fun. You're young. Yeah. That's it, man. All right. But that's it. Memphis, he, 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 yeah. give him a round of applause. Give Jazzy a round of applause. I got yeah, a little bag, bag for you, brother. A little something. Just something to take home with you, man. This is the only show you do, you get a little something, something. All that oh, black man. Home stuff. Yeah, you got a little something in there. Look what it is. It's yours, man. A book, my book I wrote. It's called oh. My 100 Homies and Phonies of Hollywood. I met a lot of people in Hollywood. Some of them was my homies, some of them was my phonies. I'm going to do part two. Phonies. Don't get caught up in that, motherfucker. What is that? Oh, that's a bandana. That's a, from the show. It's, this, it's right here. This is right here. A bandana. Yeah. What, that right there? Yeah, basically that right there. Oh, boy, you got to get this shit out. We got card games up in there. Come on, card games. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, so what it is is black comedy from, um, you know, sitcoms, movies. It's a, a trivia game, like a trivia game, oh, okay? Oh, that's dope. And you can get it at comedyhype.com oh, com shop, forward slash shop. It's going it. to be written right across like it. Own it. I didn't get the panic room joint like that? No, what, no, 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 no. We on, we on a budget, bro. We ain't got one of these, homie. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same one you'll see. I got you, Jazzy Fizzle. Yeah, I got to have one of them. Yeah, man, come on, publishing. <laughs> <laughs> No, man, but I, I truly appreciate, appreciate you coming you, too, man. Give me a, I really appreciate Come on, it, man. man. Thank you so much. And hey, y'all see who I sat with, Mr. Jazzy Fell. Okay, there you go, Jazzy Fell, the one and only man. Tell me, you're man. Man. a better person, brother. Man. You know what I'm saying? You've always been cool when I run into you, man. And I appreciate you coming and taking time. Yes, sir, man. Real, it's all man. love, man. I can love it here. I appreciate it, yo. Yo, again, <laughs> hey, hit the subscription button or the notification bell. Boom, there it is right there, man. Thank y'all so much again. I love y'all. It's another episode, man. The one and only Mr. Jazzy Faye stopped through. Y'all see what he talked about it, man. Spread the word. Leave it in the comments of what you felt, what he talked about. All right, y'all? I love y'all. We'll holler at y'all later. We out. Oh, boy. And there it is. Da -da 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 -da. Ladies and gentlemen, you're now tuning to the very best. It's yours truly, Jazzy Fizzle, a.k.a. Fenzel Burgundy, Obama Luther King Jr. Jackson, fire the first, and I survived Pierre's panic room. Oh, boy. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit.
like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell. Hit the subscribe button, man. We want you around. Appreciate it.